All right, here's our double stroke roll and alternating flams again, written in slow motion notation. One day when I was practicing this transition and becoming very frustrated with my left hand because I'm right-handed and it takes my left hand longer to learn things than my right hand, I was playing this repetitively over and over and it said, look, why don't I just, since the left hand is having a problem, why don't I just focus on the left hand? So instead of playing the double with the, with the right hand, let's just play a single. So basically, I turned these two patterns into this. I just marked beat one with a quarter note, with a single, on each pattern. And as I was playing this pattern over and over, going back and forth, I was recognizing this as a half open drag. A half open drag consists of a drag, this is the drag, the double going to a single, where the drag, the two notes of the drag, each note of the drag is one half the value of the single, or the total value of the double equals the same as the single. So this is a half open drag. It's also a half we could call this a half values double. Since this is a delayed close stroke of the half values double, we could call this a uh, half values delayed close stroke or delayed close. There are two other kinds of drags in addition to the half values or the half open drag. There's a closed drag and a fully open drag. In the fully open drag, basically you make the notes of the double the same value as the single. So if I turn these two eighth notes into quarter notes, I would have three quarter notes. I would have this pattern up here in 3-4 time. This is a fully open drag. The notes, each note of the double is the same as the single. So you could call this an equal values double. Now since these are all single double patterns, if you will, single followed by a double, it would be nice to put them into the same rhythmic framework. These two are currently in 2-4 time, this is in 3-4 time. It's actually very easy to relate this to this. We can do that by first changing the meter to 2-4, and then turning this into a form of a triplet. This is a quarter note triplet, which indicates we play these three pulses evenly over these two beats. So now we have three single double patterns with the single in the same place on each pattern. We're either playing half values, half values with the delayed close stroke, or an equal values double. All right, let's look at the single double. That's a single in one hand followed by a double in the other hand. On the whiteboard, I showed you how we got to the half values double and the half values delayed close stroke double from the double stroke roll alternating flams transition exercise. Basically, we get there by changing the right hand from a double stroke to a single stroke. So I'll do that. I'll start with the double stroke roll alternating flams. I'll play that a couple times and then I'll change my right hand to playing single strokes and we'll have the half values double and the half values delayed close stroke double. That sounds like this. Now single.
Now if we use the right hand as a metronome, we can create the fully open drag, or the equal values double, by making the right hand the first note of a triplet. The left hand double will fill in the last two notes. That sounds like this. The fully open drag, or the equal values double. Now let's do a little transition exercise. Let's start with the half values double, go to the equal values double, back to the half values double, to the delayed close stroke of the half values double. Sounds like this. a little faster. Now you can also transition directly from the equal values double to the half values delayed close stroke double as well. That sounds like this. So you can switch from pattern to pattern at will, whatever you want to work on. Once you can do it this way, flip the sticking. Put the left hand on the beat as the single and the right hand playing the double. So let's play our little transition exercise again. We'll start with the half values, equal values, half values, half values delayed close stroke. Sounds like this. faster so basically what we're doing that when we're playing that double in either one of those situations we're controlling the speed of the double by the amount of pressure applied by the middle and the ring finger on the stick the quicker the double is, the more pressure you need. The slower the double is, the less pressure. Here are our three single double patterns. A single followed by a double stroke. Here we have an equal values double. Here we have a half values double. Here we have a half values delayed close stroke double. Now it's interesting, these little pieces can each be used as kind of a foundational building block as well. So, just for yucks, let's put a single stroke in front of each one of these single doubles. So we'll add a quarter note to each pattern. And we'll bracket it with repeat signs. Notice we have four quarter notes in this pattern. We're in 4-4 four, four time. In this pattern we have two quarter notes, two eighth notes. We're in 3-4 time. And this one is in 3-4 time as well. Because the, the first note of our building block is a right, we want to have it be a single, so it has to be played with a left. This pattern is going to repeat, so the sticking is going to reverse on the repeat. So we'll write the reverse sticking above. So this will be right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Doing the same down here. And the same here. Again, interestingly enough, 
we've created three rudiments by adding one note to our little foundational building block. At the top we have a single paradiddle. In the middle we have a single drag tap. And at the bottom we have a flam accent. All of these patterns are expressed in slow motion notation. Slow motion notation lets us see that the single paradiddle did, pardon me, single paradiddle, the single drag tap, and the flam accent are all built from the same mechanics. The only thing we change from pattern to pattern is the value of the double stroke. It's also possible to play the single paradiddle, single drag tap, flam accent all in the same meter. If we change the time signature on these, we can put them all into 2-4 time with a little modification. So we have 2-4, two, 2-4, four, 2-4. Two, four, two, four. For the single paradiddle, if we change the quarter notes into eighth notes, we are now in 2-4 time. And just as I showed you on the very first single double uh, whiteboard where we had the equal values double, how we could change that 3-4 pattern into a 2-4 pattern simply by bracketing the pattern with a triplet, a quarter note triplet bracket. And that same applies here. So if we go like this, this pattern now is expressed in 2-4 time. Do the same thing down here. So now all three patterns are in the same time signature, and the common pulse between each pattern is beat one. This note happens at the same exact time in every measure, regardless of what pattern you're playing. That's the common pulse. If we use a metronome to mark this common pulse, what I'll first do is try counting the eighth notes against the metronome and then count triplets against it. For example, if we're playing a single paradiddle, if this is marking beat one of two four time, eighth notes are one and two and 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 the triplets or the quarter note triplets at this tempo, if this is beat one, we count this way. One triplet, 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 one triplet. So first thing we should be able to do is to segue from counting the eighth notes to the triplets. That sounds like this. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one triplet, one triplet, one triplet, one triplet, one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one triplet, one triplet, one triplet, one triplet. So now let me play this. We'll play the single paradiddle. I'll go to the single drag tap, back to the single paradiddle, to the flam accent. That sounds like this. One and two and one and two and Another helpful tip when playing the same meter approach to these three patterns is to accent 
that common pulse or accent beat one of each pattern. This sets up kind of a right, left, right, left, right, left as your metronome, as you're playing. It's a physical thing you can feel by accenting beat one of every measure. We'll go around the horn a few times. I'll do single paradiddles, single drag taps, flam accent. Sounds like this. Single paradiddle. Single drag tap. Flam accent. Also keep in mind that you can hop from pattern to pattern at will because these things are all mechanically identical. You can jump back and forth, create any kind of exercise you want.